Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the second episode of CSO, Complete Server Overview. The server I am reviewing today is 8bat.me. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to thank you all for all of your kind comments and support on the first episode of this series. I'm going to continue this series mixed in with my usual client related content. Don't forget to use the first link in the video's description to vote for what server you would like to see me review next. And if any of you have suggestions for servers that aren't on the list, please comment them down below and I will consider adding them to the vote. And lastly, before I get into the video, I want to give a huge shout out to my members. If you would like to support my channel, get early access to videos and get your skin and name in my next video, please consider joining my members. Anyways, that is more than enough rambling, let's get into the video. Okay, so to start off, let's take a look at some of the statistics behind 8bat.me. The server's origin is slightly confusing, but stick with me. In 2016, a player by the name of Lee created a server known as 0b0t, which would later in 2018 evolve into 6b6t.org. Lee would later sell 6b6t to a player named Bleepo, who would then reset all player data, meaning that all active players would have to start from scratch. Later, sometime in early 2021, Lee would create a new anarchy server called Lee's Anarchy. Lee then took a save from 6b6t.org's map and used it on his new server leesanarchy.org. A few days after Lee's Anarchy was started, the name was changed to 7b70.me. Then, more recently, 7b70 would once again change names to 8b80.me. So, to summarize, the current map or world on 8b80.me was started sometime in 2016. However, the map has had player data reset a few times since then, with the last player data reset being nearly two years ago, sometime in early 2021, when Lee's Anarchy was started. 8b80 is hosted in Alberta, Canada. The server's map is over 2.3 terabytes in size and the server has seen over 173,989 unique player joins since the last player data reset. The server is currently on Minecraft 1.12.2 but players can connect on any version from 1.8 all the way through to 1.19. The server is also cracked so anyone can join even without a paid for Minecraft account. The 8b8t website claims that the server maintains an average TPS of between 17 and 20, which is pretty close to what I experienced while playing on the server. The next thing I wanted to look at was the player base and community on 8b8t. The Discord server was very active with over 1,300 members, but after connecting to the server, chat was completely clogged by bots advertising Discord servers or shops. And to make it even worse, the slash ignore command was broken, making chat completely unusable. I did see an announcement about fixing the slash ignore command, but as of the time of writing the script, the command is still not working. On their website, they claim to have an average player base of between 70 and 200 players, but this is not accurate. I would estimate it to be between 50 and 100 active players, not including spam accounts or bots. Like previously mentioned, 8b8t has a complicated history with many name changes and player data resets. With all of these changes comes some drama. When I announced CSO and released a vote, I had both the owner of 6b60.org, Cubasey, and the owner of 8b8t.me, Lee, message me both accusing the other player of bad things. Lee messaged me with a warning about 6b6t.org. He told me that the server is botted and that the owner of 6b6t had been harassing, swatting and DDoSing him. He told me there is 100% evidence of all of this. While QBasD messaged me warning me about 8b8t.me. QBasD sent me a message saying the owner and admins of 8b8t.me have been scamming, threatening, DDoSing, doxing, IP leaking, botting and crashing, basically everything bad you can think of. 
I can provide you with proof for everything. Funny enough, neither of them provided any actual proof. While this video is based on 8bat.me, there is another server with the address 8bat.xyz. Unfortunately, this makes finding any history from either server extremely difficult. I found a few stories about backdoors, but it turns out that this was on 8bat.xyz. And it was not clear on which server some of the other events had taken place on. Anyways, before we move on to the next chapter in this video, I would like to remind you all to like or dislike the video and maybe even consider subscribing for more content like this in the future. The next thing I wanted to look at was 8bat.me's anti-cheat. There are a few notable things here to consider before joining the server. To start, connecting to the server is slightly annoying. You have to create a password and use it to log in every time. This has been implemented to protect cracked Minecraft accounts. Without the password, anyone can steal your cracked account and take your progress on the server. I also got disconnected a few times for no reason, and while this was annoying, I was told it was because the server was getting DDoSed. 8bat also has some commands that are not found on other popular anarchy servers. Players can use slash set home to create a home point. They can then use slash home to teleport to that location. The server also allows you to request to teleport to other players. You will only be teleported if they accept your request. Personally, I am not a huge fan of these commands. While they are useful and can save a lot of time, I personally feel that they take away from the true anarchy experience. I can't say that I enjoy spending hours traveling on servers like 2b2t.org, but I really do think that spending hours traveling makes the destination more satisfying to reach. This may be an unpopular opinion though, so I'd love to hear what all of you think about these commands in the comments down below. When I first logged into 8bat, I immediately noticed how chat was completely clogged with spam. A player then kindly gave me a few basic items. I then traveled into the nether and followed the highway out of the spawn region. After a while, I set my first home near a forest. I then got a private message from someone asking me to TPA to them. I didn't have anything to lose, so I sent a request and they soon accepted it. I was taken to a small dupe stash not too far away from spawn and the player told me that I could take what I wanted. He then showed me a cool exploit that allowed him to instantly pop two of my totems. He then shared his elytra fly config with me, so I went back to spawn to explore a little. I then spent some time flying around spawn, but I didn't find anything particularly interesting. Overall, I think 8bat.me is a cool server with some funny and interesting history. The economy is pretty bad and I was told that there is still a working dupe on the server. So it isn't too hard to get geared by finding items or dupe stashes. If I'm going to be honest with all of you, I probably won't join the server on a regular basis. I don't have anything against 8bat, in fact it seems like a cool server and I was told that the server will soon allow people playing Bedrock Edition to join. But something about all of the resets and name changes puts me off. I know that no server is guaranteed to stay online, but something about the history of 8bat makes me worry about its future. I'd hate to invest a lot of time on the server just for it to be reset, sold or shut down. Thank you so much for watching to the end of my video, I really appreciate your time. Seeing as you are still here, I assume you enjoyed the video, so please consider leaving a like and maybe even consider subscribing. Don't forget to use the top link in the description to vote for the next server in this series. And if you want me to add a server to the vote, please post it in the comments down below. I have also recently completely revamped the Caleb Gaming memberships area on my channel, so be sure to check out the benefits with the join button. Quick shout out to my members for all of their support, they help me make higher quality content more often. Anyways, it has been your boy Kylab, peace in the Middle East.